In this video, we'll see how to use Elm's polls. So polls can be associated to content so that you could have someone taking a poll based on the material that they're reviewing. To turn polls on, go to version settings, then manage ID toolkit. We'll see Elm's polls, which we've already turned on for this section. Go to some content. Now highlight the text that you want to associate a poll to. You'll see enhanced content pops up, and then you want the little bar graph for add a poll. Pose a question. Best sport monkey is okay, I guess. You also have the ability to add more choices to it. I don't like sports. Poll settings allows you to set the duration that this poll will be running, as well as the message that should be displayed to people once they've taken the poll. We'll hit save. This will now take us back to the material, and you'll see that it's highlighted the text that I marked as polls. Opening up polls, I have the poll there, and I can take it. You can see results, and then I can close that away. Going to course resources, you'll see polls appears there, too. This will aggregate together all of the polls that have been placed throughout the course. So this is another way that you can go and take the polls by themselves. I can actually cancel my vote through here and then change it to hockey with a question mark. Looking at the admin menu or the menu I have where I'm logging in as admin, you can see that there is a My Polls, which will then show you all the polling going on across all of your 